Okay, so let's understand operating subsystem that is OSS. You already had covered up RSS and NSS, and uh, you had seen that NSS consists of MSC. But we had seen uh, that MSC consists of four types of database databases that is HLR, VLR, EIR, and AUC, right? And you already had covered up this HLR and VLR in NSS, but rest of the databases we will cover up in the OSS, okay? That is operating subsystem. So it is divided into uh, three categories. We have authentication center, we have equipment identity register, and we have operating and management center. So let's understand authentication center first of all. So what happened exactly in authentication center? It's like you are user one, right? And here is your user two to which you want to connect. Or let's say you want a voice call, okay? So <clears throat> when you dial a number on your phone or mobile equipment, you know, the signal is going to be intercepted by something called as MSC. Okay, I mean user one, in between user one and MSC, there are so many components such as BTS, such as BSC and so many things. But let's understand that user one has, you know, has, uh, generated one call for user two and it has been intercepted by MSC. And already I told you that MSC is having four types of databases and the the one of the database is authentication center right so what this what this authentication center database possess it is having a valid you know numbers or valid identity numbers in the database associated with the with this user one i i i exactly don't know what numbers but we call it as sres i'll tell you about this but just understand that there is something called a signature response uh, these are the signature responses the list of signature responses so whenever user one is you know generating a call for user two the the call is intercepted by msc you know when when you are listening that ring ring uh, um, that backend you know uh, the um, the call you know it is intercepted by your call is intercepted by msc and it is checking in the authentication center that the user one mobile number or M or imsi number or the sim number is authenticated inside my database or not so you are here authenticated whenever you are calling you are authenticated with the help of AUC it is having your all information and you already know that MSC has your all information with the help of HLR and VLR your current location your profile information and everything this HLR is your home network uh, you know profile information so it is home location register it is having everything associated with you so it is having your information but right now we are dealing with authentic authentications right so whenever a user one is generating a call for user two the call is intercepted by msc he will check in the auc that the person who is calling is authenticated or it is there in my database or not if if you are in the database then the call is going to be forwarded to the user two if not then it is going to be you know simply simply going to be dropped out okay so this is the process of authentication we will see authentication and security in the later sessions where we will discuss how this you know information has been passed and generated okay so uh, let's get back to the uh, next thing and that is uh, we call it as where is it yeah we call it as EIR that is equipment identity register <coughs> okay what happened in EIR uh, see EIR is also a kind of database, another type of database, which is having a valid IMEI number. You see, if you don't understand what is IMEI number, it is nothing but it is simply your MAC addresses, just like that. You understand it, okay? Your computer is having MAC address, a permanent address, right? In the same way, if you have mobile one, two, and three, or, or you have mobile equipment, all mobile equipment is having a unique identity such as IMEI number. Um, see, mobile equipment possess maybe one maybe so sorry it possess two or three imei number and you can check your imei number with the ussd code that is star i think star hash zero six hash by by dialing this number you can you know you can check your imei number <coughs> it will display that so now whenever your phone is stolen or you know uh, when it is stolen or lost what exactly happened you know you can find your phone with the help of IMEI number how does this happen is with the help of let me give you another diagram here so let me remove this and so what happened a user one now have your phone here okay and here is your MSC and as I told you MSC is having your uh, EIR that is the database right and EIR is having list of 
IMEI numbers in the database. Uh, so this call is intercepted again by MSC. Now what happened whenever you are calling, you know, uh, the this uh, the signal or the data or the voice here, let's say voice, voice plus your IMEI number, you see here, and so many other information is being passed to the MSC. Now MSC, what is going to do? He will first authenticate you, right? But with the help of authentic authentication, it can forward the packet to the user two here, not packet, but the the call. Okay, user two here. Now it also checks this IMEI number while doing all this authenticity. Whenever you know your call is generated, it will also check the authenticity and it will also check the IMEI number. So in the EIR, this phone IMEI number has to be possessed. You know, if this IMEI number is there in the EIR, then your call is you know forwarded to the user too. Um, it is going to be forwarded forwarded to. I mean, it is not going to block, but you know it can check in the MSC or anyone can check in the MSC that the phone is having the valid IMEI number or not. So what, what I mean to say is let's say <clears throat> you had purchased a SIM card of Vodafone right you had purchased this SIM card of Vodafone you insert that SIM card in the mobile device and when you make uh, you know when you make a registration that means in the MSC your number plus your IMEI number plus your IMSI number, all other information, this IMM, IMEI number is going to be inserted in the EIR, in the first time of registration, at the first time of registration, okay? So your, your number is associated, your IMEI number is associated, and IMSI number is associated. So now you see here, whenever, whenever a phone is going to be, you know, stolen, a person who is, uh, who is, <clears throat> a person who is, just a minute, yeah. Oh, sorry for the interruption so what I'm saying is whenever a phone you know stolen or you know it is going to be lost so other person here user 3 comes up he is having your phone here okay you see here now your phone is you know it is lost and it has been finded by user 3 and he is going to call now someone so it is again going to be inserted or inser intercepted by MSC now what happened he will find that yeah a new call is generated by a mobile number and associated IMEI number he will check in the EIR yes I have the number EIR uh, says that I have this IMEI number and the person who is you know the authentic person or the police or any agent you know he will find that yeah that a call is generated and uh, he is having the valid IMEI number and then he will go to the HLR that where exactly this user is located and he will find that location and it will find the user and automatically it will find the uh, you know this mobile device with the help of this you know you can find your uh, mobile uh, device whenever it is lost or uh, you know stolen so again if you don't understand I'll, I'll give you an explanation on this so what happened a user one is here and his phone is now lost from this location and it has been finded by a user three here and now this mobile is possessed by this person okay this person <clears throat> so now this person is going to call someone okay so MSC is again going to be intercepted now what happened okay it is having EIR and HLR right so this mobile IMEI number is going to be checked by MSC with the help of this EIR and when when you see that this IMEI number and this IMEI number is equal then this MSC going to understand yeah the call is generated by someone and he will he will pass this information to the HLR that please find me this user where exactly the location of this user and HLR, HLR will give you the information that where this user is located and by means of calling this user 3 you know you can find your IMEI number in this case you know you, you can get your uh, mobile equipment again um, Get, you can get back your mobile uh, mobile equipment right so in this way you know a police or agent or uh, the people who are <clears throat> who lost their phone can find their phone with the help of this you know a simple um, IMEI number so I hope you understand it a uh, user 1 lost his phone user 3 grabbing his phone he is calling and while calling MSC grabbing the, uh, the, the the voice call and he will check that the the call is generated by this user 3 the IMEI number it is there in my database or not once he find that yes IMEI number is there in my database then he will pass this information to the HLR. HLR says yeah this is the location of that user and the police is, 
police will go to that location he will caught that user 3 and he will get back to the uh, you know mobile device he will get back that mobile device to the user 1 and that way you know you can find your mobile device i hope you understand it if you have any problem you can you know comment in the comment section i'm ready to help you okay now let's understand omc i'm going very fast or you can tell me in the comment section that if i'm going very fast okay so omc is actually it it centrally monitors and controls <clears throat> it centrally monitors and controls network okay so it centrally controls and monitors the network between you know uh, various uh, components such as such as between bts to bsc to bsc to msc and ms to uh, bts so the full complete chain you know this omc is going to be you know uh, monitors and control okay and apart from that it also it also it also does something called as qos that is quality of service which is also very important part of operating and management center so quality uh, of service okay this is also done by the omc <coughs> apart from that it performs let me write it down here it performs several other aspects such as network monitoring network monitoring then it also does network development then it also does something called as network measurement which is very important that what kind of frequencies what speed what data rate you know is is there then apart from that it also does something called as fault management which is very important one antenna has been you know damaged or broken then he will uh, he will pass that um, the, the signal or the or the call to the next very very next location uh, or the very next cell or the adjacent cell okay so these are the uh, perform uh, i mean th these are the some of the uh, some of the fundamental aspects of uh, operating and management center so it performs network monitoring development measurement and fault management i hope you understand it so these are the uh, these are the some of the uh, you know uh, the aspects of operating subsystem which is authentication center uh, omc and eir if you have any doubt you can you know comment in the comment section if you have any problem in this you know three part uh, thank you so much for listening to me if you like if you uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you to please subscribe it thank you so much